Good afternoon, everybody. Beyond Radio Tim here. I just posted most of the playlists for the week on the YouTube channel, so you can go check those out. I thought I would give a bit of an overview uh, in this video of uh, what we put together this week. When I uh, you know, come up with a list of songs for each genre, uh, and then I look at it, I try to you know mix up the styles as the playlist goes on, so you're not getting two or three in a row that sound alike. Uh, one of the beauties of music in general is that even though a song may go on, let's say, the adult contemporary list or the alternative list, uh, there's lots of crossover uh, as far as where a song could end up and, and what you know kind of music you might like to hear. Uh, so hopefully you'll check out more than uh, the list that you think you would like, because uh, I think you'll find some really, really great gems in all of it. The alternative list this week includes uh, the song that's been number one on my chart for the last th three weeks, uh, Jealousy by Robert DeLong, and also a song that is going to make the biggest or highest debut on my personal chart, I think, ever uh, since I've been doing it uh, this uh, coming week. Uh, it should enter the chart at number 15 or 16, a song uh, called Hugs, Not Drugs, or Both. Uh, by newcomer Brendan McLean from Australia. Uh, also, I put another song by uh, Nothing But Thieves, just an amazing CD all around, and I definitely want people to check them out. Uh, the, the latest song by Garbage also uh, is featured, and uh, the couple of really cool uh, UK indie bands, one that's relatively new, uh, Viola Beach, and one that's been around for about uh, 10 to 12 years, Mystery Jets. What I'm also trying to do here and there is put an older song on a list if it's related in some way to a current song. I do that this uh, week on the adult contemporary list. There is a song by AHA, a newer song called Under the Makeup, which is a gorgeous song. Uh, sounds like it could be from a James Bond movie. Uh, and I couple that with one of my all-time favorite songs from 1993, Dark as the Night is All, uh, Dark as the Night for All. Uh, it's just an amazing, amazing song. Uh, AHA has been putting out music for 30 plus years, and and strangely, I wouldn't have thought that they would have become one of my favorite bands, but they've, they've put out a lot of quality product. Another um, artist that I do uh, a, a kind of a, a two-song, a twofer, uh, is Sister Hazel. That's on the uh, the country list. Uh, they have a new album out that is definitely a little more country tinged, but even going back to their mid 90s uh, stuff, there was that influence there. Uh, and a, a big number one on my chart in 1999 was a song called Champagne High. Um, also on the adult alternative list, there's a new song by Richard Ash Ashcroft. Uh, who was the lead singer of The Verve, uh, if you remember Bittersweet Symphony. I did not put that song on, and I didn't put on another Richard Ashcroft song or Verve song, but there's a song from that era uh, by a, a band called Manson called White Open Spaces, which was a really big song on my chart. So I figured I'd feature that as well. There's a reggae vibe on three of the lists this week. On the adult alternative list, uh, there's a song by Lazy Empire featuring Adam Levine on vocals called Vampire. On the R&B list, uh, there's a song called Run uh, by, oh, I can't even remember the name, Tiggs something. And then on the alternative list, uh, the, the latest song from Sublime. On the adult contemporary list, there's a song by Babyface uh, featuring Elder Barge, which will definitely bring you back to late 80s uh, R&B. Uh, there's also a song by pop punk band All Time Low uh, that has a sound that I would call very similar to uh, the Hey D There Delilah uh, hit by uh, Plain White Tees from about five years ago. On the rock list this week, we've got a number of states featured, uh, New York, Michigan, North Carolina, Ohio, and Kentucky. Uh, and we, one of those is uh, the current uh, number one air, airplay song on rock radio. Uh, typically, I would not put a song that's become a hit on one of these lists, but it is kind of newly discovered by me, and I thought it was a, a really good addition.
This week's country list has a really cool remake of Nirvana's In Bloom, which you definitely have to check out. It also has Steven Tyler doing his little country take. A um, new song by Trace Atkins and a song by Rita Wilson, Tom Hanks' wife. Uh, and she sounds very reminiscent of Cheryl Crow vocally. Uh, maybe a little thinner voice, but a pretty good song overall. On the rhythmic dance list, uh, the UK and Sweden are well represented, as well as uh, the second single from Zane, uh, formerly of One Direction, which is, I think, a much better song than his number one pop hit right now, Pillow Pop. On the adult alternative list, Americana is well represented by Lone Bello, um, by Josh Ritter, and Eric Church. Uh, he is this country artist that just really breaks the mold in a way. He'll do, as I put last week, a, a, a song called That's, rock, uh, That's Damn Rock and Roll on the rock uh, chart. Um, this time, uh, Knives in New Orleans is got a really, uh, it's got a Bruce Springsteen feel to it. Uh, and one of his big early hits was called Springsteen, so he definitely has Bruce as, as an influence, and, and it certainly showed on this tune. So overall, that's, you know, that's where we are at this week. I hope that you'll check out some of the lists, a lot of great music, and I look forward to uh, exposing you to more new music uh, in the coming weeks. Have a great day. Bye.